history of violent, aggressive, and controlling tendencies, five children's lives were taken as well as their mother and grandmother on January 4th, 2023. Tasha's estranged husband, Michael Haight, shot and killed his family before taking his own life. Tasha's biggest desire in life was to raise her children. She was a mother of five who would do anything for them. The five children, whose ages ranged from four to 17, had so much more ahead of them and their lives were taken too soon. Reading their obituaries is heartbreaking. However, the father's obituary, who murdered the innocent family members, was pulled from the local newspaper's website after followers on social media described it as vile and grotesque, being that only kind words were said describing Michael as a loving family man and businessman, completely leaving out the fact that he caused the deaths of Tasha, their children, and Tasha's mother. Possibly Michael was going through some stuff and his side of the family was hurt because they lost him, but at an overview, I mean, he thoughtfully ended his family's lives. Several copies of police reports were released and they tell a story that Michael Haight had a history of violent, aggressive, and controlling tendencies. On August 27, 2020, police showed up at the Haight house responding to a call that there was a lot of yelling and emotional abuse. Police took note that Michael had been violent towards the oldest child, Macy, and also that this has been an ongoing instance for several years. She described three instances where he was violent towards her, which included physically shaking her and, in another instance, choking her. As she described these events, Macy also explained that she was very scared he may kill her. Police were also informed that Michael took his wife Tasha's iPad so that he could keep track of her text messages while he was at work. And after all this, police let him off with a warning and gave him some advice that he should seek some help on his anger and his daughter should visit a therapist. This was after the father admitted, yes, he did these things and he explained that he had a tough year being that he lost two close family members and he didn't mean for any of this to be an assault. Now, from the time of this police call in August of 2020 to January 2023, which is the time of the murders, we have no clue what could have been happening behind closed doors. We do know that Tasha Haight filed for divorce in December of 2022. A GoFundMe page was established where donations are accepted to cover funeral costs and a memorial. The picture used for the GoFundMe page is a picture of Gail, the mother of Tasha, and a photo of Tasha with her five beautiful children. And in the same picture, it appears to be photoshopped replacing Michael from the photo with an image of Jesus. Be sure to visit the GoFundMe page and help support the family if you can.